This is Chris Miller with Hill International. I'm Hill's Director of Content uh, here from our Philadelphia, Pennsylvania headquarters. And I'm here today with our Director of Facilities Management. And we are having a brief interview today in honor of World Facilities Management Day, which is May 12th. Uh, Rami, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, thanks, Chris. So uh, I'm Rami Badawi, uh, the FM Director for UE Operations. I've been with the company for over uh, eight years and uh, currently uh, looking after uh, different assignments in uh, UAE. And I've been looking after the FM business uh, within the region, and particularly in UAE, and we've been growing over the years. Uh, currently, I'm uh, engaged with uh, multiple uh, clients on uh, on on different uh, different assets and different portfolios. Service offering, which we're gonna expand on later. Uh, you prior to joining Hill, you had a long and distinguished facilities management career, uh, and you continued that work with the company. What's uh, what's your approach to facilities management when you're supporting a facilities management client? What is your personal approach and, and how does that sort of filter out to all of Hill's facilities management work? So basically uh, our, our approach and, and my approach that we uh, focus on uh, the client uh, objective, uh, the objective on, the, on both the tactical level and operational level to ensure that whatever solutions we come up and or, or the strategy we propose for them for their uh, facilities are aligned with the organization organization objective uh, to ensure that we are achieving uh, the goals and we are in line with the client vision to to achieve that vision are there any specific tools or technology you use i know computer aided facilities management is a important service offering at Hill. How do you use that in supporting those those client goals? Yeah, so so basically uh, the CAFM system is, is a very uh, important uh, element of the facilities management. Uh, the CAFM helps us to have a, a, a fully integrated operation and be able to capture all uh, all the the, the all the requests and all the elements and uh, details of the asset. And this helps us to uh, have uh, um, very controlled uh, operations and able to monitor the performance and ensure that we have uh, innocent reporting uh, and uh, live reports and live dashboards to the client, to our clients, which enables them to have a very a clear picture on the operations and what's happening on day-to-day -day basis. God. You know, when you're <clears throat> when you're presenting that those outcomes to your clients and the, the reports, are client are our clients often surprised by any facilities management challenges, uh, any any issues or obstacles that perhaps you are common knowledge to you and your teams, but are, that our clients are grateful that we brought to their attention? Uh, yeah, usually, usually our usually the clients uh, are not uh, very well involved in the day-to-day -day operations, and then once they see the reporting and the amount of uh, requests we handle per day, and uh, whether it's corrective or, or uh, uh, whether it's corrective uh, requests from our side or it's active, uh, they feel surprised that we have been able to manage a such volume on on daily day on daily basis uh, without having any impact on the operations interesting uh, relatedly it, hill is exclusively a a project management and facilities management firm we don't provide design we don't provide contracting unlike many other facilities management providers uh, how does this inform your work this unique perspective uh, so basically, since Hill is a, is a PM uh, company, um, so when when uh, when when the FM offering started over probably a decade ago, uh, it gave us a privilege that we understand the both sides of of the construction side and the uh, 
operation side. Uh, so, so our involvement now, we understand what happens, what, what happens in the pre-development stage and what are the issues that uh, may face the, the team, the construction team or the client during the, uh, the operation phase. So we, we help the clients, uh, to, we bring the clients on board the best of the two worlds. Uh, basically, <clears throat> we emphasize the clients, uh, and, I, and I always recommend to, to our clients that uh, FM is, uh, has to be engaged in the very early stages of any development or any project. Uh, the common understanding that once the project is in the handing over phase, you start, come on, let's get an FM company on board, and then they, they, they get engaged in the project. So our approach is, is different. Uh, we, uh, we focus on getting, uh, we recommend to clients to get their FM co companies as uh, early as possible uh, from the very early stages of design. So we can get involved in the, the different design phases and check what the, 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 the developed FM strategy, ensure that uh, all what's proposed uh, within the development is uh, operatable and maintainable, accessible, and uh, it, it fits the purpose for the end user or the tenants or occupants of, of the facility later on. And then once we move on during the construction phase, we uh, monitor uh, and ensure that uh, all the FM comments and requirements are addressed. <clears throat> and then we look into the, uh, ensure that all the documentations required for the handing over are, are there. And then we help the uh, client during that phase in, in concluding the FM strategy and developing the FM contracts, and then procuring the FM services, and to ensure that all the FM service providers are on board, period the handing over at least three, uh, three to four months before the handing over date. Uh, this is helpful so they can uh, the FM service providers get familiarized, familiarizing themselves with the uh, facility, understand any. Uh, any sophisticated systems and attend the trainings that are in the handing over and ensure that uh, all the system trainings are attended and uh, understood. Uh, so this approach helps a uh, very smooth transition between construction and uh, operation phase and avoid the, the, the amount of clashes and issues and happens in, in such a important and transition uh, period for, uh, for the, for, due, during the life cycle of any asset. Uh, so this is one of the very uh, most uh, important offerings we do for our clients and it's our recommendation that they have to, to ensure uh, getting their own companies uh, right in the very beginning. So, the pandemic has obviously influenced facilities management, uh, you know, obviously more than design, probably more than contracting. Uh, it's it's a suddenly a much more serious service, a much more critical service. Our approach and the realities of the, the post COVID-19 world, how will that benefit our clients? Uh, so, so for basically the COVID had, had definitely had a huge impact on the market. Uh, and it had had different the various impact on the FM uh, services for the cleaning services and, and hygiene during services required, including the sanitization and disinfection. These services have been uh, boosted and it's booming. Uh, the main there is there is big focus on on such services during the pandemic. Other the other impact I could see is. Uh, the, the the office space and workplaces due to the uh, current uh, social distance requirement uh, in each country. So uh, this also had a huge impact on the offices and uh, the fit outs, uh, the the fit outs and the current designs in the office. So there is a lot of modifications happening uh, within the corporate offices to suit the new working style and working requirement. Uh, that happens that's required after COVID. Uh, so, 
from 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 the FM market perspective, uh, the market is is uh, evolving uh, is evolving big time. Uh, there is uh, a lot of clients started to feel the importance of FM and and uh, and how important is it uh, during the pandemic, especially as I told you the uh, cleaning services um, in particular. Thinking more long term uh, as we look at the market both globally and across the Middle East and North Africa, what is the future state of FM? Where where do you see the the service headed? Uh, as as uh, the, the there is a lot of construction works happening in, in different places in the region and uh, across the world. Uh, so the, the more uh, construction is, is coming to uh, to to the handing over, the focus comes into the services and FM services uh, gets evolving. Uh, what I see that the market currently uh, is uh, the maturity level is, is different from from one place to another. Uh, depends on the country, culture, and and. Uh, What's 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 happening uh, historically with them? So for for the region here, I can see that uh, there are there are more GCC countries uh, are, are more ma- countries like UAE are more mature in terms of FM and uh, focus on the services uh, delivery, uh, while there are other Gulf countries are less mature. Uh, in terms of FM services and the client understanding of uh, the importance of FM and what type of uh, service offering uh, can, is there and uh, having the in, an integrated facility management approach, uh, it's, it's still uh, not there. Uh, so overall, I can see that the FM importance is, is uh, getting attention worldwide. Uh, as I told you, the maturity differs from uh, place to place or from region to region. Uh, but uh, the pandemic uh, got uh, is, is one of the things that uh, got uh, the FM attention, and the clients started to have uh, more focus on having proper FM services in their facilities, uh, the residential areas, in uh, their offices. Etc. So, so yeah, I can see that uh, the FM uh, will continue to grow. Uh, there, uh, it's 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 becoming a multi-trillion-dollar industry worldwide. Thank you. Uh, any closing thoughts? Any conclusions you'd like to share with our colleagues and clients across the industry? Uh, yes, I would like to give. Uh, and an advice for your clients that uh, when you select the FM partner or provider, make sure that you focus on the quality, and the added service, added value, and services you're gonna get uh, from from the FM partner, uh, rather than just focusing on uh, the cost element, uh, because once once uh, the focus is on the cost element it impacts the, the quality and, and uh, the service delivery uh, I've, I've personally faced this uh, situation several times uh, with different clients uh, in the region not, not only in UAE so yeah uh, get the, the most uh, quality and value added services for best competitive uh, cost. Good advice. Thank you, Rami. Appreciate your time. Uh, happy FM Day to you and everyone on your teams. Yeah, thanks, Chris, and uh, wish you all the best. Thank you.